It is one of the most well-known and influential ancient civilizations in the history of the world. But how much do you really know about the world built by the ancient Egyptians? 20 insanely cool things about ancient Egypt. Hey everybody, I'm Wacky Universe, guest hosting this video today on Taltanic. Now let's get on with the video. 20. Cleopatra was an Egyptian. She's one of the most famous leaders of ancient Egypt of all time. Thousands of years later, most of us know who Cleopatra was. First off, Cleopatra wasn't even Egyptian. Although she was born in Egypt, she came from a line tracing back to Macedonian Greece. Her lineage descends from Ptolemy Soter I, a general that served under Alexander the Great. Cleopatra's family came from that line of Greeks ruling ancient Egypt after Alexander the Great's passing, a line that would last for almost 300 years. Despite all that time there, Cleopatra served as the first Greek leader to learn the Egyptian language and speak it instead of Greek. 19. Oxyrhynchus Papyri The name Oxyrhynchus Papyri refers to a group of manuscripts from ancient Egypt that were discovered in 1896. Of these papers included over 5,000 documents that scholars have transcribed, said to just be a portion of the estimated half a million other papyri yet to be deciphered and cataloged. Papyrologist Arthur Serge Hunt and Bernard Pine Grenfell discovered the manuscripts in an ancient ground that was used as a garbage heap. The documents included a list of things from a contract stating that a wrestler will agree to a match after being paid, to medicinal recipes for a hangover. 18. They loved game night. The ancient Egyptians had their share of board games they played for leisure too. One of the most well-known board games originating from this era includes Senate, the old pieces of which are seen here. One of the world's oldest board games consisted of a board of three rows with 30 squares in total and a set of 10 pawns. Even though it remained a popular game to be played even in the modern day, no one knows the exact rules of the oldest iteration of the game. 17. The Anubis Shrine When we think of ancient artifacts, we think of items that have been worn away by time, just a vague shape of what it used to be. Yet the Shrine of Anubis was discovered nearly perfectly intact. It was found amongst the resting place of King Tut, which was uncovered in 1922. Among the artifacts found here was the famous statue of Anubis, made of plaster, lacquer, wood, and gold leaf. The statue faces the west, the direction the ancient Egyptians believed to be where the afterlife was. 16. The History of Wedding Rings Nowadays, most commonly in the west, we get so used to marriage being physically represented by two individuals wearing wedding rings that we might not have realized this was not always the case. Among the first times wedding rings were worn in history were with the ancient Egyptians, with the oldest wedding rings dating back to 6,000 years ago. In Egypt, a circle signified eternity, and so it made sense that an eternal union would be represented with a ring. 15. The Oldest Treaty in the World Referred to as the Treaty of Kadesh, but more commonly known as the Egyptian Hittite Treaty or Eternal Treaty, archaeologists recorded this document to be one of the oldest treatises in the world. The ancient Egyptians and Hittites were feuding for a really long time, a conflict that would last over two centuries. 14. Stone Cold Pillows We're so used to going to bed at night and resting our heads on our soft pillows filled with cotton. But back then, the ancient Egyptians favored headrests that were made either of wood or stone. Your head gets raised up a few inches, with custom headrests made to fit the length of your shoulder when you sleep on your side. It doesn't sound super comfortable at all, but apparently it was. At this position, it ensured proper circulation from your head. 13. Makeup has no gender When you think about it, lots of women and men have worn makeup throughout the centuries. But the practice became much more commonly associated with females by the 19th century all the way until now. When we rewind to ancient Egypt, it didn't matter if you were a man or a woman. Everybody wore makeup. Eye makeup was worn daily, especially amongst the social elite, which meant everyone had their own little cosmetic cases that looked similar to this small box. 12. Hide your hair If you think of all the depictions of Egyptian pharaohs, whether it be cave paintings, busts, or other sculptures, you see that they all had huge headdresses that covered their hair or head. These headdresses were called nemis and were commonplace for pharaohs to wear. It represented the same thing that a crown represents in other cultures. Although they did wear crowns too, the headdress often came as a fabric that covered the crown. 11. Clothing Customs If you live in a desert environment, you most likely have access to air conditioning or, at the very least, an electric fan. But for the ancient Egyptians living in the deserts of northern Africa thousands of years ago, they had no such thing. Duh. So it makes sense that their clothing was often thin and flowing. Yet the children didn't have to wear anything. Actually, 
parents waited until a child was at least six years old to clothe them so that the kids could run around and let them feel the cool air on their smaller bodies. 10. Wearing wigs But even if the clothing could be sparse, Egyptians from centuries ago wore a lot of wigs. Men and women would shave their heads, especially if they were rich. When it came to younger boys, their whole heads were shaved except for a small braid as a way to prevent the spread of lice. Mostly poor people would be the ones to grow their hair out. For the women who didn't decide to shave their heads, they would lather their locks in things such as oils or even boiled blood from animals like cats or bulls. 9. The Oldest Toilet Seats Some of the oldest toilet seats ever found came from ancient Egypt which archaeologists usually found inside rooms that also came complete with a bath and drain located within a home. Rich homes, that is. People who lived with a lower status in the kingdom had to deal with wooden stools with a hole at the top, while the affluent had these toilet seats that closely resembled modern-day toilets. 8. The First Sailboats Unlike planes and trains and cars, boats have been around for a really long time. But where did these vessels that are used to traverse the sea actually start? Historians at least know that among all the other civilizations in the world, ancient Egypt was one of the first societies to build sailboats. They needed to transport anything from grains to building materials to livestock up and down the Nile. 7. The Canopic Jar What exactly constitutes as a canopic jar? Well, it's a jar full of human organs, of course. Upon mummification, those being mummified got their insides taken out and placed into jars that looked a lot like the ones seen here, a complete set. Ancient Egyptians believed you would need these parts later on in the afterlife. Yet the heart was the only organ that would be left alone, since they also believed that the human heart held the soul. The faces you see on the jars represented the different gods they worshipped. 6. The Unexplored Pyramids Even though archaeologists have been excavating the ancient ruins of Egypt for years now, it appears even the most famous of them all, the pyramids still has a lot unexplored. The Great Pyramid of Giza, the largest in the complex, still has all these aspects to it that have yet to be really researched. Experts guess that there's many more chambers, halls, and corners that they haven't come across. To go deeper without disrupting the structure, researchers use muons, cosmic ray particles that move at high speed, to delve deep past the rock. 5. Their view of the world It was common for old civilizations to believe that the Earth was flat. But in addition to thinking that the world was flat, they also thought it was shaped like a circle. And at the center of the world was Egypt, the Nile River supposedly flowing going right through the middle of it. But like a lot of society centuries ago, they believe their lands were the center of the world. 4. New Old Discoveries Modern society has been researching ancient Egypt for a long time now. And like the unexplored voids of the Great Pyramids of Giza, more things have been cropping up. Among these new discoveries includes a huge statue that was found submerged in mud in Cairo, Egypt. The research team were once working in the site that once stood as Heliopolis, an ancient Egyptian city. The statue measured to 26 feet or 8 meters tall, depicting what has been speculated to be the image of Ramses II. 3. Laborers Built the Pyramids While the actual method of how the pyramids were built still baffles historians, it should be cleared up that these enormous, long-standing structures were not built by slaves, like movies often depict. Picked. Laborers were actually the ones that put in the manual work to put these things together. Of course, we cannot solely blame pop culture for this mistake. Greek historian Herodotus mistakenly wrote in his records that the ancient Egyptians used slaves, but these laborers were paid, with one gallon of beer per workday. 2. The Legacy of King Tut He is arguably one of the most well-known ancient Egyptian pharaohs of all time, and modern society only discovered his resting place less than 100 years ago, back in 1922, when they would find a whole treasure trove full of all his things. He ruled during the 18th dynasty when Egypt would become the new kingdom. Archaeologists call the site KV-62, a place we mentioned was incredibly intact. King Tut ascended the throne at around the age of 9 to 10 years old and ruled until his passing at the age of 18. He had powerful advisors, mostly because he was just so young. 1. The Rosetta Stone Not the program that helps you learn a new language, but the idea is kind of the same. The Rosetta Stone was created back in 196 BC, but was only discovered in 1799 by French soldier Pierre-Francois Bouchard while part of the Napoleonic campaign through Egypt. Made of granodiorite steel, the writings on the stone describe three different decrees that were announced for Memphis, Egypt, written in Ancient Egyptian, Demotic, and had Ancient Greek at the bottom. With the discovery of the stone, it helped historians decipher Egyptian hieroglyphs. Interestingly, the king whose decree was on the stone was Ptolemy V, who was only a teenager at the time. What did you think of the video? 
Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Wacky Universe, for more videos like this every week.